Well, everyone, the Nintendo Direct is happening. I think you've heard the news by now, and if you haven't, I'm happy to bring it to you. However, the news is probably an hour or two hours old by the time you see this video. So yeah, Nintendo Direct is happening tomorrow. It's really exciting. It's landing at 4 p.m. Central Time, and sure, we will be live stream reacting. It's gonna be 40 minutes long and focusing on, essentially, Nintendo Switch games that are coming out this spring slash early summer, uh, early 2022 games that's what nintendo is telling us but to be 40 minutes long nintendo often teases things further out in the year you know usually one or two games further out of the year and sometimes even a game that's not going to come until 2023 so yeah it's going to be a really really big direct and i'm super excited just like i'm excited to remind you we are giving away a nintendo switch oled we are giving away a playstation 5 or we are giving away an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. They get to choose a current gen console of choice. All they have to do is go to the gleam.io link down in the description or pinned comment to enter. And I wish everyone luck. Now look, this is really, really exciting. And I'm going to tell you in this video my expectations. But I'm going to break this up into two different segments. Because there's going to be my expectations and my dreams and wants and desires. And then there's also going to be this part that I'm going to talk about right now. And this is addressing the elephant in the room. That would be the video that we put out yesterday covering the <sighs> on again, off again, uh, supposed Nintendo insider, Samus Hunter. Now, a lot of people are gonna look at this Nintendo Direct announcement and go, Nate, look, she was right again. And to that I say, was she? She did say that she thought the Direct would be announced this week, AKA it would be announced today. It would be happening, you know, either on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. She didn't tell us an exact day, just that it would be announced uh, today. But she also hedged her bet and said, but you know, it might not be announced today. It could be announced next week. She didn't even firmly stick with it being announced today. So I didn't really care that she said that it was going to be announced this week or that it was going to be happening this week or maybe next week because again her own words were basically either or because guess what all of us have been saying that if we're going to give credit i said it was going to happen this week just last week as a guest on our nintendo prime podcast featuring jake randall i guessed the nintendo direct would be this week i said this before samus hunter did Oh no, everybody, I'm an insider! Like, see see why this isn't something that was worth being, you know, giving credit for? Put it this way, seven of the last 10 February directs before this one happened in the first half of February. Seven of the last 10 years has been our direct in February, and all of them have been in the first half of the month. Now eight of the last 11. It was pretty easy to say it was going to be coming this week or hedging your bet and saying maybe next week. It's obvious that's what it's been pretty much every February that we've had one. So again, this is one of those situations where I really wasn't giving her credit for this because we've been saying this now for over a month, as has Nate the Hate, as has Emily Rogers, as has basically every other insider. Samus Hunter was actually the last person to come out and say a direct would happen this week or maybe next week. So that's why I really was not giving her any credit and I'm still not gonna give her credit just because we're getting a direct this week. Again, other insiders and people like me were already saying this. So yeah, that's not, that, that's not her. That's not, that's not what she gets credit for. Actually, her exact words were basically without the big announcement that's either at the beginning, middle, or end. Uh, could be multiple big announcements, but basically a new thing we don't know about, a big thing we don't know about. Minus that, the show should be 35 minutes long. She literally gave us an exact time that minus that one announcement, it should be. So that's what I'm holding Samus Hunter to. And I think that's what you should hold her to as well. I don't think her getting it right this week suddenly lends her a bunch of credit when other people have been saying this exact same thing for weeks, if not months. I think we need to hold Sam Hunter to the coals over the thing she said that nobody else did. And that was an exact time minus the big announcement. And what's funny about that exact time is if you actually go and you grab every single Nintendo Direct in the history of Nintendo, add them together and divide, the average length of a Nintendo Direct is right around 35 minutes. So it's sort of convenient that that's the figure she gave, which happens to be roughly the actual average length of a Nintendo Direct. 
So yeah, I'm gonna hold her exactly to it. So if minus the big announcement is 36 minutes, 37, 38, 39, yeah, she was wrong. Not right, wrong. That being said, today she did put out a little list and some people thought I was gonna talk about it and praise her and I'll, nope. The list that she put out today is nothing but predictions. So instead of me worrying about what Samus Hunter's doing and what Samus Hunter's predicting, let's actually get into my expectations and my predictions for this direct. Now look, there are a few things I do expect to hear about. I think we're gonna see Project Triangle strategy and uh, you know Kirby in the Forgotten Land again. I think it just makes sense. Those games come next month. Uh, Nintendo's gonna wanna talk about them. I also think there'll be some surprise indie or some sort of thing dropping this month. I don't think they're gonna leave February completely barren. It's just not gonna be something that's major. Now, what those, you know, what that game could be, I don't know. Obviously in the back of my mind, I always hope for like Hollow Knight Silk Song, which I just wanna see at this direct in general, but it would be really cool if it just was, hey, guess what, it's coming later this month. I would be really hyped about that, and I don't think we need a long hype train for a game that we've waited so long for that's an indie title. But again, I just wanna know the game is alive and well. I played it at E3 2019. It would be good just to see it again. Setting that aside, what else should we really expect? Well, there's a bunch of games that we already know are coming this year from Breath of the Wild 2 and Sparks of Hope, Splatoon 3. And of those three, it's gonna be very curious to see which one do we see here. Because I think we're seeing at least one of them, if not two of them. Personally, I have this bias where if it was up to me, I want Breath of the Wild 2 to be here. It'll be interesting to see if Breath of the Wild 2 is here because Breath of the Wild had a nine month run up of hype. If they don't do it at this one, it doesn't mean it's not coming this year, but it really shortens the window that Nintendo has to market it compared to the original game. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be here. They could start the hype this summer, uh, but it would be uh, interesting to see if they do drop it here and give us a title along with a release month or something coming this holiday coming this november or, or something like that maybe it's coming this summer uh other things that we could obviously expect of those two two or three i think we will probably see splatoon 3. um that's just my guess it could be maybe we see all three of them for, for all i know um, again i don't actually know what's in this direct because uh, nintendo for once didn't market it around a specific game saying this will be a nintendo direct you know, for splatoon 3 and other titles or Sparks of Hope and other. Clearly, this is just a very general direct, and they're just going to talk about a ton of games. Uh, so, yeah, b besides that, what else do I expect? Well, the rumors out there obviously talk about Monolith Soft unveiling something. I do think that that is going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be Xenoblade Chronicles 3 or if it's going to be their new IP, but I do expect there to be a new Monolith Soft title here, mostly because one of the employees at Monolith Soft said they were going to reveal something this month. And now we have a direct. So clearly we're getting something from Monolith Soft at this direct. Your guess is as good as mine as to what that could be. Um, besides that, uh, I'm not sure what else we'll see. You know, there, there's always the rumored Metroid Prime remake, that rumored Donkey Kong game from last year. Uh, Metroid Prime 4 could obviously be teased, you know, just to kind of keep the Metroid hype going, although I think the remake could be first. Uh, if Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD are coming out this summer, they would need to show that now, in my opinion, if that's actually gonna be, you know, so say they're gonna go summer for that, and then, uh, you know, fall slash winter for Breath of the Wild, they would literally have to show that now. They're not gonna just drop it as a shadow drop in the summer. So again, if there's any hope for that, it'll be showed here. Uh, besides that, uh, it's really just a bunch of guesses on stuff that we don't know. You know, we have some of the rumors out there that the Mario Kart game exists. Zippo out there saying, hey, look, you could bet Super Bowl money that this game doesn't exist and you would just be out a lot of money. That wasn't him saying that it would be shown off at this direct, but it was him saying that it does exist, which is, it seems like a fairly safe bet that someday we're getting a new Mario Kart game. But to me, when you make a statement like that, it means we're getting one soon this year next year one of those two so yeah um maybe mario karts here that that would be a massive surprise to many people and probably dominate the internet and all social media uh if that's going to end up being a big holiday title or something that would also to me mean breath of the wild maybe is a summer title but again that's a lot of guesses and and, and you know whatever uh fire emblem obviously we know about a ton of fire emblem rumors that have been out there from multiple leakers so it it would make sense by the way setting aside the rumors fire emblem three houses was two years ago it would make sense, well, almost three years ago now, two and a half years, it would make sense to, 
you know, start talking about the next Fire Emblem game, whatever it is, be it a remake or a brand new title um, or another Warriors game or another spinoff game. So, um, you know, we had we, well, one, one spinoff game I totally forgot about was actually a crossover game, uh, you know, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, you know, FE. So, I, you know, maybe something like that. But I do know that there probably is Fire Emblem in the works, and that would make a lot of sense for them to talk about that. Well, now. The Batman Arkham Collection was actually leaked at a retailer, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that here too. Uh, also third party wise, you can look at the Persona series. Um, may maybe we get some updates on Monster Hunter Sunbreak, the DLC coming out this summer. Uh, it it's also possible that we see any number of other third party titles. Maybe we see MLB The Show for the first time seeing Switch footage of MLB The Show 2022. Right now we have yet to see what this game even looks like on Switch and it comes in April. So I could definitely see that making an appearance here. Um, but honestly, this feels like, while I'm super excited for this Direct and we absolutely need it, what's what, what, what I'm waiting for is what's the surprise? Okay, maybe it's the casual follow-up to 1-2 Switch or some other title from Nintendo. That might be cool. But what's the big surprise that we don't know about? Because we can predict till the sun comes home what's going to be at our direct. It's very rare that we actually get everything that's going to be in it. I do think that this direct, unlike many others, it feels like we have a good idea of some semi predictability, like a monolith soft title and stuff like that, about what could be shown here, plus all the titles coming later this year. But what makes the directs exciting is there's always that one thing you didn't see coming. Last time around, Metroid Dread, anybody? Granted, that wasn't the September Direct, but still, Metroid Dread was a big deal when they dropped the Journey 3. Like, Metroid Dread was what, like, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 was there and that was exciting. Metroid Dread was that nobody saw it coming, wasn't predicted, wasn't leaked. And that's what I'm waiting for, is what is that title in, the, like, Splatoon 3, when that dropped, you know, at the first Direct of last year, nobody saw that coming. I want to know what is the big title that's going to drop or surprise or shock us. And that's the one that I'm not sure about. Is it going to be you know, Super Mario Odyssey 2 or some other Mario game? Obviously, they're always working on Mario games. Um, is it going to, for some reason, be Pokemon? Like. Pokemon Company decides to announce their game here, which would be really weird since the Pokemon Company likes to announce things on their own, but maybe Nintendo convinces them to announce it in a direct, which would be really strange and break tradition, but Pokemon Company's breaking tradition. Hello, Pokemon Legends Arceus. So it's gonna be, you know, maybe Legends Arceus DLC gets announced here instead of announced in a separate event. I, th there's a lot of things that we just don't know and that's what's so exciting. But I will be live streaming this again tomorrow. We'll probably go live. Uh, maybe around a half hour early because you know, my children get home at 3 p.m. Central Time uh, from school. So there's all that that I got to deal with. Uh, but yeah, we'll be we'll be live at 4, uh, doing our thing, having fun, reacting for 40 minutes, doing probably a really short post show. But remember, we do have our Nintendo Prime podcast tomorrow. Uh, Jake Randall is coming back again. Uh, so it was a lot of fun because last week we got to talk about expectations and when we think the Direct will happen, if there will be a Direct. And now we get to actually react to the Direct after the fact with the same cast of characters. So that's going to be a lot of fun this week, and I can't wait to geek out and obviously see all the additional news that drops after the Direct. Because, as always, all these things that get talked about, there's usually additional screenshots, additional details, and all that that drop after a Direct that we can probably bring up on the podcast. So it should be a lot of fun. Maybe even on the podcast, we'll rewatch some of the trailers. It's just going to be a grand old time. Uh, so I hope to see all you guys tomorrow. Uh, uh, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy. Anytime that Nintendo drugs are coming, I'm happy. I know some people think there's some big beef and some big drama between me and Samus Hunter. And all I can say is I don't know who Samus Hunter is to have sort of beef and drama. I just call things like I see it and I'm going to continue to call things like I see it. She's not right yet. She might be right, but she's not right yet. And I want to be clear, I want her to be right. You guys realize that she posts crap rumors more often than basically anybody in existence? It would be cool if she was right and I had an excuse to cover her regularly again without having to throw um, some shade because I'm a YouTuber and 
posting rumors is like free views. I'm not stupid. You're not stupid. We all know that people like watching rumor videos. So yeah, it'd be cool if she was right all the time. So we'll see. 35 minutes. That's what I'm paying attention to. All right, folks. I'll catch you in the next video.